everyone, and welcome back to Anyone Can Learn to Code. Let's create a brand new program, which we'll call the Story Creator. It's going to take words that a user will type in and create a story out of those words. So let's get started. Let's have our nifty program accept five words from the user, and we'll build a story around those five words. To be more specific, we're going to take names, and we will use those names as characters in the story. So one thing we'll need to do is create a loop which will have run five times and ask the user to enter a name. So to start that we can do five times do and inside this loop we'll ask the user to enter a name. Okay. Let's just run this right now to see what happens. So we've called this file story creator. So it asked the user five times to enter a name, but obviously it never gave the user a chance to enter the name. So since we're essentially asking a user for a list of names, the perfect thing to store this list in is inside an array. Remember, as we discussed in a previous episode, an array is essentially just a list. So before this loop, we're going to create an empty array and store it inside a variable, which we'll call names, since this variable is going to store the array, which will be the list of names. So names equals empty array. Remember that the square brackets indicate an empty array. Now inside the loop, after we ask the user to enter a name, we are going to take that name and add it into the array. To do that, we use the double angle brackets, which indicate adding something to an array. So we're going to add it to the names array, or the array stored inside the variable called names. We're going to add gets.chop, which means the user's input. Now let's run the program. Please enter a person's name, Bob, Caroline, And to keep things interesting, okay, so now we let the user enter names, but we haven't created the story out of it, but we're almost there. For our very first version of this program, we're going to keep the story sweet and simple. We'll have five sentences, and each sentence will say, there once was a person named so-and-so. So we want the computer to essentially print out there once was a person named Bob, there once was a person named Caroline, etc. One sentence for each of the names that the user provided. So how do we go about this? We've seen in the previous episodes a number of useful methods that an array can do. But now we'll learn a new one, a super useful one called each. The concept of each is really simple. What it does is it runs a loop once for each item inside the array. Let's see this in action. So after the user provided the names and we store them inside the names variable, we are going to do names.each. On line three, we have a loop that runs five times. So it's a loop that runs an arbitrary number of times based on the number we provide. When we do names.each, we're running the loop once for each item that is stored inside the array. So it happens to be, since our names array has five names in it, this loop will also run five times. So names.each do. We'll just end that loop, and within the loop, we are going to say, there once was a person named, and we're going to concatenate or add to the end of that string the name that we're up to in the array. Now we're missing one piece to this loop in order to do that, which is as follows. After do, we are going to put inside pipes or vertical lines, which you'll typically find on top of your backslash. Now this name is a special variable which is actually called a block level variable, but the name isn't important right now, which basically says, let's take the name that we're up to in the array and temporarily store it in this variable called name. Now we could have called this variable anything, but we're calling it name to be more descriptive. So let's just illustrate this. 
Let's imagine we have an array with two names in it, Bob and Caroline. Now this loop will run for each name inside this array. It's first going to run with the name Bob. It will temporarily store Bob in this variable called name, and then within the loop you can do whatever you want with that variable. So we're going to concatenate that to the end of this string. So there once was a person named, in this case it will be Bob, since we're currently holding at the first name in this array. We're just going to add a period to the end of that sentence. So again, this loop is going to run twice, since in this example over here, this array contains two elements, or two names. So it's going to run the first time with Bob. It's going to put Bob in this name, and it's going to say this sentence, there once was a person named Bob. Then it's going to loop again with the second item in the array, which in this case is Caroline. It's going to store Caroline inside this name variable and then it's going to print a new sentence to the screen, there once was a person named Caroline, etc., etc. In our case, our array is going to have five names and do the loop five times with the five names. So let's run this program. Bob, Caroline, Edwin, and we have our story. There once was a person named Bob, there once was a person named Caroline, etc, etc. This each method is extremely handy and you're almost guaranteed to see something like it in every Ruby program you encounter. Try it out yourself and soon you'll master it in no time. Thanks for watching. Anyone can learn to code.